We're here with Greg Nance taking a first look at the Great Falls Whitewater course, Longreach side, as Greg teaches EMS and fire rescue squads. This is Eli White. What do you think about these rapids, Eli? I mean, they look look really well. They're definitely going to be bigger than the Whitewater Center, even some of the smaller ones on that paperclip channel. Um, they uh, even with speed and momentum, they they slow a boat down really well. they uh, the hydraulics are a lot more powerful, and then you get into something like this. And, yeah, this will very easily very easily turn somebody over and mess them up. Looks pretty munchy right there, doesn't it? Yeah, very very munchy right there. You got a. Uh, I mean, you're either gonna go left, you go right, you go center. You're gonna be hitting a big hole somewhere. And any of these holes are much bigger than anything we have locally. You can't even find this on a creek in North Carolina. This is true big water. Followed up by lots of sieves and strainers. And so I heard this called the Paperclip Channel. Here we see Greg Nance and his fire rescue squad crew coming down the last part of the paperclip channel. As you can see the drops are fairly straightforward. Strong current, strong eddy lines, but fairly easy. This is Eli White in another raft full of rescue squad trainees. It's a good idea to have someone walking along the edge with a throw rope. If you come out of your boat on one of these channels and drop your paddle, it could be hard to rescue your paddle if it goes down into the natural river bed below here. So you have to do a rescue fairly quickly. The end of this paperclip channel dumps into a little pool that has a walkway where you can walk back up and do the channels again if you like. Forwards. Backwards. Forwards, forwards, relax, forward, backwards, 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 forward, 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 forward. Paperclip channel, or the other channel for that matter, the river enters a natural riverbed where there's obviously trees and root balls and rocks, and there's plenty of chances to get pinned or to lose gear. The river, river is very wide here, and um, you just weave between the holes and rocks for about two miles and then come to a lake called Stumpy Pond. It's very pleasant paddling and if you do make a mistake you can end up on rocks or under a tree if you're not careful.
there are flat stretches between the rapids and if you're really lucky you can get someone to tow you across this stuffy pond lake at the bottom.